Early on a Sunday morning, a truck arrives with a four-ton load at the state fairgrounds in Oklahoma City. Within minutes of stopping, the cargo steps into the sunlight and onto the scales. The first set of Belgian draft horses, the lighter team, weighs 3,600 pounds. The heavyweights top 4,500. Jaw-dropping size and stature, awe-inspiring to say the least. We're at the Oklahoma City draft horse pool. It's in a split overweight pool. Uh, so the bottom, the, the horses are all weighed. They take the total number of teams, they split it in the middle. We have the bottom half of those teams will be in the lightweights and the top half of those teams are in the heavyweights. Owner Brad Brazil and team member Ty Hickman lead them to the barn where preparation commences. First up, the horses settle into their stalls and get water, feed, and hay. Some are more patient than others. They're friends with each other. Okay. They, they spend about six hours in a harness, standing side by side all day, uh, working. Make no mistake, each horse has his own personality and style. I'll start with the biggest horse I have is SpongeBob. He's, a, he's kind of a crowd crowd favorite. He's a super strong horse. SpongeBob's also a world record holder. The next horse, the horse that I pull with him, his name's Ted. He's a big chocolate horse. Very mild mannered, easy to get along with. Perky and Barney make up the lightweights. Perky is a, is a blonde horse. Pound for pound, he's probably one of the strongest horses in the country. He's, he's, he's more of the follower of the bunch. The other horse, is kind, Perky's kind of the leader. He's, he's very quick he's, and he's just He's just a little more honorary than most of them are. They compete across the country, including the national championships in Florida and the National Western Stock Show in Denver and everywhere in between. And each time they go through the rigors of getting ready. Shampoo, suds, scrubbing and rinsing. It's almost time to harness up. The energy starts to build. They get excited. They're, uh, this is definitely a competition. They, they've been here before. They know what they're doing. Proudly into the ring go Barney and Perky for teamwork at its finest. Brad is the driver. Ty is one of two hookers who literally hook what's called a double tree onto the sled in less than two seconds. You drop the hook in and, and uh, they take off and get out of the way in a hurry. You have to be very cognizant uh, and paying attention at all times. It's massive, massive animals pulling a lot of weight. And so, yeah, you have to respect that. We'll pull the weight 20 feet. Once that 20 feet's completed, we'll complete that round, and then we'll do another round. And they'll add more weight, and we'll pull that 20 feet. They'll continue to add weight till the last person's pulled it the furthest. Competition is fierce, intense, and exciting. Yet there's still a spirit of community and support for fellow competitors. Barney and Perky give it their all, landing in second place. A short break and then it's time for the heavyweights. SpongeBob and Ted are ready to go. Once you've held the, held the lines on one of these guys and, and, and experienced the power that they have and, 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 and seeing them work, I mean, it's, 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 it's very rewarding to, to get to do it. But to be around that kind of power is it's pretty neat. Block after block is added, round after round, and in the end, they get the win. The crowd is ecstatic. More than 11,000 pounds for the blue ribbon. Just because you have a Belgian doesn't mean you have a pulling horse. If that horse doesn't have the heart, doesn't want to pull, you're, he's not going to do very good in the competition. He's going to want, he's got to, he's got to have the heart and want to do it.